Good evening, everybody. I bring Recording this in progress. I bring this regular meeting to order for June the 4th, 2024. Result of the agenda for the June 4th, 2024 regular meeting of council be adopted. Moved by Councilor Boychuk, seconded by Councilor Powell. Some discussion? Uh, Councilor uh, Medwood. Yes, uh, I think it's 11.7 or 11.6. 11.6. I believe that's meant to say third reading. You are correct. Thank you very much. Okay, and uh, Deputy Mayor Morial. Uh, I would like to add to the agenda uh, the GIS agreement. Signing in the GIS agreement into new business. That's correct. Okay. okay, so then we'll have, uh, do we have the vote on that? Yeah, we do. So, um, uh, to vote on to add the GIS to the agenda, move, uh, not move by, but <clears throat> all in favor. Okay, this is the pass then. Oh, the amended one. <clears throat> yeah. The original's on here, though. The original's passed, but we should we should pass that. Okay, it's so a, then. It's an amendment. So, Councillor Bocha. Sorry about that. Uh, That's okay. Uh, I would like to add on the amended uh, resolution for the AMM for uh, where is it now? The June, the June district meeting. Harm reduction. Harm reduction. Yes. So it's a resolution on the arm reduction? Yeah, we passed one last meeting, but there was an <coughs> amendment to consent sent in and, and some suggestions were made, so there's just an amendment to it to add on, okay. if council is in agreement to it. So council, are you uh, all in favor to add the uh, resolution to the agenda? Mm -hmm. All in favor? Okay, it's approved. <coughs> all right, so then uh, back to the resolution. Uh, result of the agenda for the June 4th, 2024 regular meeting of council, or the amended regular, or the, sorry, the right, the amended agenda for the June 4th, 2024 regular meeting of council be adopted. Um, we already had a mover and a seconder. So any further discussion? All in favor? Let's carry. <coughs> result of the minutes of the May 21st, 2024 regular meeting of uh, Council and the May 28th, 2024 special meeting be approved. Moved by Councillor Powell, second by Councillor White. <clears throat> Any discussion? All in favor? It's carried. Okay, communication 6.1. <clears throat> Result of the Town of Swan River victim impact statement from the Chief Administration Administrative Officer be received. Moved by Councillor Powell, seconded by Councillor Bobbick. Discussion? Councillor Medlin. I just want to clarify that uh, in the document it states that, uh, just give me one second to open it up. I want to refresh my screen. It states here that there are legitimate concerns from our residents about purse snatching, purchase bags of groceries being taken away or risk of their car being smashed open for thieves to grab the valuables. Are these, have these words actually been said to our CAO or member of council? To the CAO, yes. Okay. <coughs> Go ahead. Um, after our meeting with, uh, I guess, Justice and the Crown Prosecutors, I think this is a, a very valuable um, document that we need to send to the Crown Attorney as per the, the request to uh, help with the uh, curbing um, or uh, achieving the proper sentences um, to um, individuals that are apprehended and brought to justice. So, um, thank you, U.S. CEO, for doing that and uh, presenting that. Councilor White. I uh, support <laughs> Councilor Deputy Mayor Morio's thoughts 100%. 
Any further discussion? All in favor? It's carried. 6.3. <clears throat> Resolved the letter from the University College of the North dated May the 28th, 2024, be received. 6.2. Oh, what did I miss that? <clears throat> Sorry. Resolved the letter from the Minister Ian Bushy, Municipal Relations, in regards to the Town of Swanover payment and lieu of taxes, be, uh, lieu of taxes grant be received. Moved by Councillor Wojcia, seconded by Councillor Medwood. Discussion? <clears throat> All in favor? It's carried. Okay, now 6.3. Result of the letter from the University College of the North, dated May the 28th, 2024, be received. Moved by Councillor Medwood, seconded by Councillor Bobbick. Discussion. <coughs> Go ahead. Uh, Your Worship, I'm, I'm sure you're doing it, but I, I would encourage our office to maybe just send a thank you to, to uh, the President, say we sure appreciate working collaboratively with your team, and uh, it's just always a pleasure. Okay, for the discussion, all in favor? It's carried. 6.4. Result of the <coughs> 20, 24 through 24, 24, with a total estimated value of $29,800 be received. Moved by Councilor Medwood, seconded by <coughs> Discussion, all in favor? It's carried. <coughs> 6.5 result of the letter dated May the 23rd, 2024 from the Association for Community Living Swan River Branch be received moved by Councilor Medwood seconded by Deputy Mayor Morio discussion all in favor it's carried Seven, seven point one. Result of the Director of Public Works report be received. Moved by Councillor Bobbick, seconded by Councillor White. Discussion. Councillor White. Just uh, there's one note in there uh, <coughs> that I really appreciated your communication with the people on Centennial North, letting them know you're going specifically to the people on the street and I. I think that kind of communication is invaluable, and, and I think we should be doing it, and you are doing it, so please thank your team and all yourself for communicating with that group. Deputy Mayor Morio. Uh, Mr. Harvey, on your report under the airport where it says calculating classification, <coughs> pavement classification number and pavement load uh, for clarifications, that's uh, determining the weight value of the size of aircraft that can land and utilize the runway and apron without causing <coughs> asphalt damage? That's correct, yeah. So the every aircraft has a ACN, and if the ACN is below the PCN, <coughs> it can land without damaging the airport. If the ACN is over the PCN, then it could potentially cause damage. So, so very similar to like overweight <coughs> trucks on highway and stuff like that. Exactly, yeah. Councillor uh, Powell. Um, just wondering where we are at with the EMT project there that for the lagoon? Oh, the lagoon. Uh, it'll be going in, we're putting in uh, ferret, so it'll be going in <coughs> sometime this week. Okay. Okay. Further discussion? Councilor Medwood. What does ACN stand for? Uh, I think it's airplane classification number. So essentially you're referring to the PCN question. Yes, because you mentioned another acronym that I don't yeah. know. Yeah, so they just relate to each other. So like every manufacturer has an ACN, and uh, it's just a simple way for the airline companies to know whether they can land at the airport or not. And the ACN just has to be lower than the PCN. And the PCN is based on the soils and the submarine. So what does the ACN stand for? Aircraft classification. Okay, thank you. Transport Canada is a leading organization for acronyms. <laughs> yeah, they, they do like that. For the discussion, all in favor? <coughs> Carried. Reports, council reports 
Councillor Boychuk. Well, it's been uh, not too bad. I just had a general government meeting uh, earlier at uh, 5 today and otherwise uh, hadn't had any other meetings. Been working on uh, the uh, gift bags for the June district meeting. Got some confirmation on a few more things today. That's coming along nicely. Looking forward to putting it together. And that's about it for me. Good. Uh, Councillor White. Uh, a couple of, I had the, the privilege of attending with council uh, to the Saskatchewan First Nation where we met with his chief and council and ours. It's always so positive to see two cultures, two governments, two entities working collaboratively for the bettering of both communities. And uh, that's very nice. I want to thank uh, Mr. Poole and his team for getting that beautiful gift we gave the chief. He seemed very pleased. We had a lovely meal. And we signed our third TLE with the First Nation, which brings employment to our community, brings monies to our community, and it helps both cultures. So I was, I was quite pleased with that trip. And it wasn't really a trip, but I, I had the privilege of attending the, uh, the Folk Fest. And it's the same principle. There's uh, 17 different cultures there, the dancing and the food and the, the exchange of ideas and caring. And, Economy is important, I understand it, but I think the cultural thing where we all work together collaboratively, get along, we can disagree with one another and still respect that we can think different. So I uh, <coughs> really enjoyed the Folk Festival. We thank you to, I think, uh, Jillian McGrath was the chair and her team who uh, did all that wonderful work, so it was pretty impressive. Just a reminder, Councillor White or any other members of council, that that part should have been held for your members' privilege. Carry on. <coughs> Thank you. Anything further? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Councillor Medwin. Uh, I attended the community practice for the community safety well-being uh, project. Its main focus actually this round was on multiple calls to action from the truth and reconciliation files. So how we can apply those into our planning for the community safety and well-being and with that in mind I was thinking it might be worthwhile for council to review the calls of action that apply specifically to municipal government and or on a community level so that all of council is, becomes maybe more familiar and aware of those actions and maybe we can make sure that if it's not incorporated in our current strap plan, that we maybe find ways to incorporate some of those into our strap plan so that we're focusing on that truth and reconciliation, which I believe is in itself a, something that is spoken to in our truth, our strap plan. I also attended the meeting at Sapatoyak. Uh, looking forward to the next time we can uh, meet with them. And then Swan Valley Communities That Care, we have extended some more funding to uh, within the valley. So we are funding a sandbox for the Bozeman Daycare. Minotonis is well, having some scavenger hunts throughout the summer to keep families active. Uh, we've got some money going to Wesquecebic uh, First Nation for their arts and crafts supplies and other materials for their week of camping in the summer. Uh, we've provided some funding for Sapatoyak and Pine Creek for programming they have going. Some programming money for a particular course, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but it's through CMHA. And then we provided funding for the RM of Mountain for a uh, foaming, foaming cannon, so if you like the outdoor pool, it might be worthwhile checking that out because they somehow go hand in hand and it'll just be apparently a very fun activity for everyone. And then we've extended further funding to uh, the Town of Swan River's rec department for equipment for beach volleyball that they've got going on. So yeah, making good things happen in the community. Okay, thank you. Uh, Councilor Baldwin. Okay. Nothing really to report more on member for each Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, <coughs> okay, um, so as mentioned, our, our trip up to Sapatoyak um, presented a gift there um, for the government office. Uh, just a 
thank you to Chief Denai for and all his council for having us out. It was great to it's great to have these partnerships and we welcome further developments to the community. Um, the library, we've had a few meetings there and are thankful we presented our financial audit today and that's out of the way. Um, we've also hired a head librarian there. She started this week. The way Abbott will start. Um, and also June 24th is our AGM. If anybody has time, it would be great to have you out there to join us. Um, and the rest of it's for members. Uh, you said your AGM is on the 24th? Yes. <coughs> okay. Well, uh, Deputy Mayor Morio. Um, it was last week's cow meeting and special meeting that we all attended and just to report that the coming further um, the Swan Valley Fire Board was successful in uh, finding a purchaser for the uh, Old Thunder West truck so that has been sold and a check will be coming to the town as a contribution towards the, the new pumper purchase of that so um, I will be in touch with the CFO Benita and yourself Mr. <coughs> to work out the details to make that transaction happen as the new truck is about to uh, be here within uh, next two weeks or so. Um, and then tomorrow night, uh, hopefully, um, if it's still raining, the councils will get together and hopefully we'll, uh, our representatives from the councils um, get together to uh, come to an agreement on a mutual aid agreement um, to move that forward and put that to rest. That's hopefully once and for all. So hopefully we'll get that done tomorrow. For it. And that's all I got. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> for me, um, traveling to Sapatoyak, as mentioned earlier, with uh, the uh, council and chief of uh, Sapatoyak, uh, I think it was, uh, it was a good exercise for us to go and visit with them, uh, sit with their uh, council, and be so <coughs> to be able to sit and, and communicate with each other uh, without prejudice, if you want to use the word. It's, it's, it's a really good exercise and I really enjoy the time that we have a chance to talk with their council and, and their plans of how quickly they're advancing and, and providing opportunity for the people and, and everybody else in, in the Swan Valley. Yesterday um, I had an opportunity to meet with the uh, three other Reeves and also with all our CEOs in a meeting. I think this is probably the first time I know that since I've been on council that this I think has ever happened. And um, we had a really good uh, joint meeting. Uh, the uh, primary uh, item on the agenda was the GIS agreement. And uh, I believe that we have uh, kind of hammered out what that might look like. Obviously there is a resolution for that later on in our agenda. But uh, I felt that it was a very good constructive time for all of uh, councils or, or Reeves and, and CEOs to get together. I think we should almost do it more often than, than not. So <clears throat> it was a good learning experience for everybody. So uh, anything from you, uh, Mr. Poole? Uh, our new clerical staff starts June 10th. <clears throat> That's Kristen Linux. So if you're in the office, please say hello, come by. Can you say the name again? Uh, Kristen Linick. Oh, okay. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I, just to, in, for time, I won't mention the GIS or Sapatoyak and uh, some good working meetings there. Uh, and just for Council's update, uh, the upcoming CAL will have the, the responsible head ownership bylaw to review, so we'll try and get that to you prior. <coughs> and also the RCMP uh, communication template, so we'll review that for for the town and RCMP detachments uh, communications moving forward with the new staff. So. Okay, uh, go ahead, Councilman. Just a question, but with the uh, responsible pet ownership bylaw that you'll be presenting, will that also have the um, urban chicken incorporated into it? Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. thank you. Councilor White. Uh, within your report, I noticed that uh, your trying to bring us soon a, uh, a written form of the recognition policy. And uh, that's appreciated because we had uh, two we agreed on a couple of years ago and uh, somehow we should move forward on those two sooner than later. We'll be looking for direction on that at, uh, at a county. Okay. Thanks so much for doing that. Yeah. 
Anybody else? <clears throat> okay. Moving on. <clears throat> uh, new business, 8.1. Resolved that C and B to Sterling Enterprises Limited be contracted to install concrete curb and gutter and asphalt pavement for the town of Swan River's 2024 paving projects. Moved by Councillor Bobbick, seconded by <coughs> Councillor Medwood. Discussion? Go ahead, Councillor Bobbick. Did uh, price come in according to the dining? Yeah. Okay. For the discussion, all in favor? It's carried. <clears throat> 8.2. Whereas the Town of Swan River Recreation Department strives to develop positive relationships by working with community members to enhance recreational options for all users, and whereas a disc golf project within Swan River ties directly into our strategic objective of healthy and connected community and checks off the action item to maintain and enhance recreation facilities and whereas a community member has developed and presented to council his detailed proposal for the project and has solicited commitments amounting to 100% of the project cost for a recreational disc golf project within the Legion Park. Therefore, be it resolved that the Town of Swan River Council approve the installation of a nine-hole disc golf course within the Legion Park on the condition full sponsorship of the course has been obtained to cover the cost of material and installation. Be it further resolved that the Town of Swan River commit the cost of supply and installation of signage in regards to awareness and safety for users of the course and other amenities within the park. Moved by Councilor Boychuk. Seconded by Councillor Medwood. Discussion, Councillor Medwood. I think this is a great idea in addition to our community. I just have one question in regards to the last, uh, be it further resolved, uh, the reference to the town covering the installation of signage and supplies. Uh, that has been accounted for in the 2024 budget. We've got room for that. <clears throat> Yes, it wasn't accounted for in the budget because this didn't come forward until after the budget uh, was approved, I think. Uh, but I believe there's room in the budget for it. Okay, thank you. Councilor White. Yeah, I'm 100% in favor for the last five, five uh, words <coughs> in the last paragraph uh, and other amenities within the park. I, I'm not sure what that means. What's your question? And it's very ambiguous. Okay, what's your question again? The last five words in the last sentence says we're prepared to put the signage up. I agree, I'm in favor of it, and blah, blah. But then it says, and other amenities within the park. I don't know what that means okay. and what that will cost. I guess the, the point of that was uh, for the awareness for the users of the course and then the awareness of people using the other amenities, including baseball, the paths. The food shelter, barbecue. Anything that someone is doing that isn't and other disco. people using those <laughs> other amenities. <coughs> it sort of infers that the amenities have been part of this, and I appreciate what you're thinking there. I think it's absolutely right on. But I might say, uh, and to make other people more aware of the activity. So okay. that's quite ambiguous. So, and other people using, is that an amendment you're asking uh, for? Amendment? I'm, yeah, something and to, and to let other people are aware of what's happening. Because I'm not sure we want to buy a bunch of fitness things and weight programs like the other people have done because that's very expensive. So you want to remove and other amenities from the park? I just put park, a period right there for the assessment and safety of the other users of the course, period. You don't need to add anything. Just remove the last five words because you're, you're letting them know. So. The uh, mover and the seconder was Councilor Borchuk and I think Councilor Medwick. Do you agree with the amendment? I'm fine with the amendment. I'm Council. not sure I do because if we leave it with a period after that, it's basically saying the town of Swan River commit to the cost and supply and installation of signage in regard to awareness and safety for users of the course. But it does not reference anybody else using the park and I think that's what those last five words are implying because there's many people that are going to be using the park 
and some of those path like they don't go over a walking path but if people are out there just out playing tag in the open green space or something or sitting and having a picnic they're going to want to make sure they're aware of where that sight line is so that they don't set their picnic up right in the middle of where that course path is also so the amenities of the people council 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 so i i think we need either those last five words or something that ties in the fact that some of the signage which i believe we're getting at is to make sure everybody in the park is aware that there's now a disc golf course that will cross over green spaces or through green spaces etc so just making that safety for everybody so the the, the proposal to have it amended has not been approved by the mover and the seconder so um, further discussion I'll go to a different memorial uh, I would just suggest to change the word amenities to patrons and other patrons Thank within you. the park. Perfect. Okay, so you're asking to make an amendment okay. to changing amenities to patrons. Okay, mover? I am in agreement. Okay, seconder? I can accept that. Okay, so then uh, we'll have that amended. A few updates should be done. <clears throat> Okay, that's in there. So uh, we have the amendment to add, uh, to basically say, and other patrons within the park, the last five words. Any further discussion? <coughs> Go ahead. Uh, I just want to commend uh, the young fellow, Mr. Wu, for actually coming to council or the Rec Media and then council with this proposal uh, and his initiative to go out and get the uh, funding uh, or the entire funding to set this up um, and bring that uh, type of sport, uh, which appears to be a growing sport with uh, some individuals um, in the valley. So my hats off and to his dedication and uh, initiative to bring that forward to the community. Absolutely. Any further discussion? All in favor? It's carried. <coughs> Eight point three, resolve that the Canada Day Slow Pitch Tournament being held in Legion Park, July the first, from twelve noon to eleven fifty nine p.m. and July second, from twelve a.m. to two a.m. be declared a community event. Moved by Councilor White, seconded by Councilor Powell. Discussion. Um, for the member, the, any of the members of Council that don't know what. A community event means why we have to declare these, Mr. Poole. Uh, in order to have a liquor permit, they uh, do require council approval resolution uh, declaring it a community event. So we can have an unlimited amount now. We used to be limited to four, just for your information, but now it's at council's discretion. Okay. okay. Further discussion? All in favor? It's carried. 8.4. <coughs> Whereas crime of all types and levels of severity have risen in the <coughs> Swan River Valley uh, to a point where it's affecting our citizens' ability to live, work, and play. And whereas the federal government is, is charged with creating criminal laws that apply across the country, the federal government is also responsible for administering the Royal Canadian Mounted Police to enforce Canadian law, prevent crime, and maintain peace, order, and security. And whereas the local Swan River RCMP detachment is short on resources needed to effectively enforce Canadian law, prevent crime, and maintain peace, order, and security. And whereas the councils of the Swan River Valley believe it's incumbent among, amongst themselves to assist in providing further resources to enforce Canadian law, prevent crime, and maintain peace, order, and security within their respective municipalities. And whereas the councils of the Swan Valley agree in principle to share the cost of these uh, further resources, therefore be it resolved the town of Swan River signed the GIS unit contribution agreement. Moved by Councillor Redipa Memorial, seconded by Councillor White. Discussion? Go ahead. Um, more for, uh, I guess, a congratulation or an acknowledgement to the the Council of the Swan River Valley to actually come together on this topic to 
um, just use one avenue amongst the, the many pronged things that the valley is doing to combat the crime issue in the, in the valley. Um, this will be um, a significant uh, movement forward in dealing with some of the organized crime and the high level crime in the valley. Um, so uh, I think this is a very good agreement and uh, we will still continue um, to help or lobby the province as we previously discussed to help uh, get some additional contributions from the province on this. But uh, uh, <coughs> it's good to see that the Valley is actually working together um, to actually combat crime as a unified front on this uh, issue. Thank you. Councilor Medwood. Um, I don't disagree with moving forward GS GIS. However, I do have an issue with an agreement being put on the agenda right now and as per the resolution, we're being asked to vote in favor of accepting an agreement that I know I myself have not had time to read through to confirm that I don't have any questions or concerns with what is in the agreement. So that I'm not comfortable with. For the discussion, Council Mom. I would just wonder for a rate bear's sake that give a brief description of what GIS is. Okay, who wants to take that? Pardon me? You mean like right now you're asking sure. for that? What do you know what it is? It's an investigation unit. Right. It will be found. <coughs> right. It's a special unit that actually uh, investigates more of the, because the higher level crime, I guess you can say, I don't know, we want to get into all the details of that. But they will investigate some of the stuff that our uh, members are now don't have really the time to do, and they'll dedicate their time to the. If we talk about drug enforcement or you know higher levels of crime or you know it's <coughs> organized theft or product that's you know being uh, stolen and moving across our uh, borders with Saskatchewan or or to other communities. They'll assist in, in finding those people and bringing them to uh, account. Thank you. That's more or less what I was looking for. I'm just there's been examples where other communities have used this and it's been successful for them. So I guess there there has been, and, and we heard that you know from uh, last year at the, one of our um, G4 meetings that uh, the city of Port Prairie, uh, other communities have it. One neat thing about this one here, or an accomplishment is that this is the very first, uh, if you want to call it regional, Swan Valley GIS. These are three other municipalities that are working with a contracted uh, municipality to help to pay for these extra resources. This is, uh, this is on the cutting edge of something absolutely new and, uh, and we know that the province is watching this as well as AMM and I'm sure the federal government as well. So. This is this is a big uh, a big point for us here. Thank you. That's for us. Thank you. I'm sorry if I put you on the spot. No, <laughs> it's important if you know that too. So. Yeah. Okay. Any further discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Abstain? Okay. It's carried. Okay. Eight point five. Whereas Manitoba municipalities have observed the problems of Manitoba and their respective health authority efforts and harm reduction networks mandated by the following guiding principles. Rather than <clears throat> making judgments about where they should be, the MHRN meets people where they are at. MHRN focuses on promoting evidence informed services that respect people's choices. The MHRN is peer informed ensuring that people have a voice in the creation of programs and policies designed to serve them. Recognizing that the realities of social inequality impact STBBIs and substance abuse, the MHRN advocates for social justice and decolonization, and whereas natural municipalities have observed the current harm reduction practices that provide free supply of regular Trabiculin needles that I butcher that every time that do not prevent single use or needles uh, safe safety features. These needles are all too often improperly disposed of 
and left discarded unsightly throughout our urban and rural municipalities, placing children and other persons at risk and increased needle stick injuries and disease. And whereas local and rural municipalities are forced to attempt and unsuccessfully manage the collection of improperly disposed of needles from designing, building and maintaining the use of safe disposal dispensers and the collection thereof, this, ex this excess work redirects valuable resources away from our set municipal, municipal priorities. This is unacceptable and undue hardship on all municipalities. Therefore, be it resolved that AMM lobby the provincial government and shared health for the use of single-use retractable needles and implement a needle exchange program across the province of Manitoba, taking into consideration the safety of all Manitobas, Manitobans affected by the overwhelming drug, drug epidemic our province and country is currently facing, and be it further resolved that the AMM lobby the provincial government to perform a study and or act on providing statistical measurable data with regards to the results of the harm reduction and further confirm that total funds utilized funding these programs and measurement of success relative to the cost incurred. Moved by Councillor White, seconded by Councillor Bobbick. Discussion, Councilman. What were the changes from this resolution to the previous one? <coughs> In summary, the, the last whereas statement. Uh, we, the previous resolution was categorized as Category 3, which means it wouldn't hit the floor at the AMM Fall Convention. Uh, it didn't directly state um, the hardship done to municipalities. So <clears throat> we, we may have expressed what the uh, shared health was doing wrong and the issues it's creating, but we needed to have a direct link how what the hardship experienced by municipalities how does it how does it affects all municipalities correct yeah. so what category does it rank into with the changes that's done through committee so we'll be able to submit this amendment uh, tomorrow morning if we pass it and the committee for the AMM will decide what category right. it is uh, it's up to our the attempt to, to bridge which that. category are we hoping for it to category one, one. Okay. To get to the floor, or to the parkland, I guess I should say. Go ahead. Yeah. So the amendments, uh, as previously stated, was uh, um, to make it more provincial in nature, to be a category one issue instead of a category three, which is a, a local municipal issue, so that it has a better chance or likelihood to get past the <coughs> the regional district to the fall amendment floor. Um, and then it's speaking to the resolution itself. Um, it's not taking any disrespect to the, the harm reduction network, um, but it's also pointing out that there's an issue to all municipalities in the province, that there's a hardship um, to all the other citizens that have to put up and with the safeties and the dangers of improperly disposed of uh, sharps and needles that are left throughout. Uh, public spaces that these individuals and children and ratepayers uh, across the entire province um, can inadvertently be stuck with and go from there. So uh, the resolution speaks to uh, asking or lo lobbying the province and shared health to um, look at other supplies that are out there that uh, are more engineered for single use versus where the ones that are out now, yes, admittedly they're probably cheaper, but they're multiple use. Uh, even though they're supposed to be single use, the single use and the needle becomes still is not retractable and still can be pose a significant poke or stick hazard to uh, people um, coming across them inadvertently in our playgrounds or public spaces. Thank you. Further discussion? All in favor? It's carried. 10, 10.1. Resolve the accounts as follows be hereby approved for payment. General accounts checks number 31604 to number 31649, totaling $127,881.05 that is listed on Schedule A. Payroll accounts checks number 5450 to number 5454, totaling $109,492 that is listed on Schedule B. 
Direct deposit payments totaling $785 as, as listed on Schedule C, and direct deposit payments totaling $1,501.09 as listed on Schedule D. Moved by Councillor Poichak, seconded by Councillor Bobic. Discussion, Councillor Medwick. Yes, can I get an explanation for 31609, 31611? 31613, 3161314, uh, sorry, 31213, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 31623, 
result the bylaw number 7 2024 being a bylaw of the town of Swanover to, to establish a rate for police protection as a special service for the town of Swanover for the years 2024 and 25 both inclusive be read a third time and be passed moved by Councillor White seconded by Councillor Powell discussion recorded vote all in favor it's carried 11.5 resolve that bylaw number 8 2024 being a bylaw of the town of Swanover to establish a rate for the following special services fire protection street lighting street cleaning and sidewalks and boulevards ditches and drainage recruitment retention of medical professionals snow removal and dust control road maintenance and rec reconstruction and emergency measures for the town of Swan River for the years 2024 25 both inclusive be read a third time and passed Moved by Councillor White, seconded by Councillor Boychuk. Discussion? Okay, uh, recorded vote. All in favor? It's carried. 11.6. Is all the bylaw 9, 2024, being a bylaw of the town of Swan River to establish a rate for collection of residential waste and recycling material as a special service for the town of Swan River 2024 be read a third time and passed. Moved by Councillor Boychuk or Bobic, sorry, seconded by Councillor Boychuk. Discussion? Recorded vote. All in favor? It's carried. 11.7. Resolve the bylaw number 12, 2024, being the bylaw of the town of Swan River, be read a first time. Moved by Deputy Mayor Morio, seconded by Councillor Powell. Discussion? Councillor Medwin. Yeah, I've got a question with regards to the administration report. It says Protective <coughs> Services requested this change. Unless I've been excluded from Protective Services Committee meetings again, I don't <coughs> having a meeting and or requesting this on the Protective Services level. No, that, it didn't say Protective Services Committee, the employees. So our Municipal Services uh, lead and our bylaw officer, uh, that was their input into this. So this is first reading, Council can, can go through all the changes. Uh, this will be on the next cow for deeper discussion. Thank you. Yep. Further discussion? All in favor? It's carried. <clears throat> All right. Nothing in camera, so we'll go down to members' privilege. And I'm going to start with Councillor Bob. Thank you, Your Worship. <clears throat> On Saturday night, we uh, got to go and uh, be entertained by the uh, 60s there, uh, both the wife and I, and a lot of people there were really impressed with the talent <coughs> that there is in Swan River. I was, some of these people that got up to did very, very well. They were very well run, and uh, hopefully they do it again next year. Uh, just to <coughs> today, the Water Festival is on uh, June 14th. We'll be going up to the Interpret Center. There's probably approximately 150 to 200 students will be attending there. There's something like 12 different stations will do like water tables, there'll be fire, there'll be lots of different things for them to learn and stuff, so we'll give you more of a report when it's all over with. Uh, just for information that uh, lines are painted all the way to Ethelbert, but they kind of quit there, so just something to keep in mind. And you notice that too. Bump into a so politician. I. I don't know if they ran out of paint or forgot where we live, but I mean, it would be nice to see you keep going. Anyway. <laughs> Um, we are going to speak about uh, community pillars, I guess, at the cow meeting. Is that what we're kind of uh, direction? Recognition. Yes, okay, thank you. Um, right for a reason, Saturday. Come out for pancakes. If you really want to, you can come and uh, ride a supper bike. too. Yeah, well, you can be Volunteer, a ghost rider. Volunteer, I won't right? take you with me, but you can <laughs> give me money and you can be the ghost rider. So. Where will they meet? Pardon me? Where will you meet? At the museum. 
It's something yeah. to see you take off. It's pretty neat to see the bikes all What day. time did they take off? Uh, 11 o'clock. Um, that's it. Thank you. Good job, and you know, it's good that that, that group is, is, you know, doing that <coughs> and uh, fundraising too. So. I can't say the volume just yet, but the volume is a lot better than it was last year. So. Just well, one more question. What, what are your water festival hours is that the interpretive center? I do believe it's 10 to about 2. Yeah, because it's a high school. Yeah. Three fours. Right. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, Councillor Boychuk. Uh, I wasn't able to take in the Folk Fest, but I heard wonderful things about it. And the food was phenomenal, and uh, there was a lot of uh, talk about it. I did hear that the uh, granting this year didn't come in for them, so apparently they used the granting and, and pass it forward. So if anyone out there is listening and, and has some ideas to help out with that for next year, wouldn't be a bad idea. I think they might need that in order to keep it going. Um, and just like to thank uh, Chief uh, Janai out in Sapatawag and all the council there for opening their uh, community to us and uh, uh, having some really good candid discussions about things that were happening and uh, wanting to meet again, which was a very positive and um, exciting thing to start thinking about working together with not only our uh, surrounding municipalities but our surrounding First Nations too. That's it for me. Thank you. Uh, Deputy Mayor Mario. Uh, just a, I guess a reminder to people I believe tomorrow afternoon and early evening is the emergency services day at the uh, arena so God willing there's a break in the torrential rain um, in between. Uh, so that uh, people don't have to wear their trench coats uh, for that. But uh, it's a, a presentation of all the uh, emergency services in the town and the valley that uh, get together to show off their skills and services. <coughs> That's all I got. <coughs> uh, Councilor Medler. I did volunteer both nights at the Folk Fest. There was great uh, attendance both evenings. It's I grew up in Winnipeg, so I went to Folkorama quite often. What I kind of liked more about ours was it was all in one venue. Because in Winnipeg, every culture has their own venue. It does run for two weeks, but you still can't get everything in. So it's really nice to be able to be there in one venue, see all the different performances, go around to all the booths, sample all the different foods. So that is one thing. It's a little bit smaller scale, but I kind of have a preference for it. It's uh, a little easier to see that everybody. Was, the atmosphere was there. Absolutely. It was uh, really great to see everybody out. I do believe they got their uh, federal grant on the 11th hour, but it's something they only put on every three years, I think. So if we're wanting to see it more often, which I think with our increasing immigrant population, I think it would be a great thing to see at least every two years, if not every year. Uh, it does take a lot of community volunteers and effort to make that happen and support as well. And I did forget to mention that the Swan Valley Communities That Care AGM is on tomorrow, actually. It's tomorrow, June 5th. So if anybody wants to attend, I believe it is 11 to 1 or 11.30 to 1. And it's the same uh, we uh, combine with interagencies. Uh, so I believe Councilor Powell mentioned that one and mm -hmm. triggered the memory there. So uh, if anyone can make it, you're all welcome. We used to get an invite for that. Here's your invite. It's yeah. tomorrow. No, well, but I mean, in advance. <laughs> like, you know, it would have been published publicly, I believe, in the paper. Okay. Um, Where? Is that, are you done with that? Yeah, it's at the Friendship Center. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you have a question? No, you, you are supposed to register. That was what the email said, but anybody can stop it. Right. But there was a registration sent out for it. Okay, thank you. Uh, Councillor White. I think a significant day also, amongst the many other things that are happening, that the University College of the North is having their pinning ceremony tomorrow, Thursday, rather, that's the 7th? Friday, Friday. Friday. The 7th, whenever that is. Friday. At uh, <laughs> the Veterans Hall. And uh, <coughs> has been invited, as we all saw, saw in our minutes. So it'll be a big deal. I'd like to 
give a shout out for the kinsmen of the kinsmen of the community who are doing uh, the eight at five p.m. That's not five p.m. Yeah, it is. So eight at five p.m. Their lobster fest. All those monies go right back into our community. The young men that uh, spend a lot of energy and money for us all. So you're not doing anything on the eighth in the evening, and in the morning you can go for breakfast to the writers for writers for a reason. And you guys are having pancake breakfast 10 to 11 somewhere at the uh, museum. So there's wonderful things that are happening by volunteers. And uh, thank you all, all the groups. <coughs> okay, thank you. Uh, Councilor Bob. Um, okay, so it's barbecue season again right now. So we've got Kyle the barbecue's coming up. Um, June the 12th uh, is a special Olympics barbecue, and that will be at Home Hardware. Uh, the Cal Tire Barbecue is happening on June the 14th, and this is always a, a huge, um, huge barbecue with um, proceeds going to the Swan Valley Lakes Committee this year. Um, other things at Friendship Centre. Friendship Centre has quite a few things going on. Um, right now, the Swan Valley Interagency is on June 13th, we're really holding an ID clinic. So if anybody or anybody needs IDs of any kind or any help with them, basically with uh, IDs of any sort, um, there'll be there'll be a booth there all set up and everything like that. So that's, that'll be happening. Um, also June is National Indigenous History Month. Uh, I guess just take time to recognize the history and heritage, uh, resilience and diversity of First Nations. Inuit and Métis people across Canada. In saying this, June twenty first is going to be our, uh, basic, our will be our sunrise ceremony and our evening events. If you get a chance to take a look at our website, um, we have so many things happening in the month of June, and <coughs> our website really showcases everything. So, yeah. Thank you. Um, I just something just popped in my head when you were mentioning about some of those activities, but. When we were visiting Sapotoyak, uh, I thought it was really a nice story that Chief Janai shared with us, you know, about, you know, his people and and, uh, and when they traveled from Cody all the way up to where the location is where they are today and, 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 and that trail where they moved from place to place full of, you know, their, their food and their, and their livelihood was really interesting. but. Uh, I can't do as good as what he did, but man, that uh, those storytellings are the ones that we have to listen to, and I thought it was pretty good. Uh, for me, uh, the Folk Fest, uh, everybody's talked about how good it was, uh, they, and the organizing committee has done an outstanding job again. The last time they had it was actually in 2018, so it's been six years, so it's good to see it back, and they had an outstanding uh, response from the community. Um, it was interesting. I they invited me to come to the Grand March, and and as they were waiting for me to, to come up, their MC was reading their agenda, and for some reason he was calling for uh, Mayor Glenn McKenzie to come and, and join in. So <clears throat> some of the young people didn't know who Mayor Mc, uh, McKenzie was, but there are some of the older people that uh, that uh, had have supported me in the past and reminded me that maybe I being changed my name or something to Len McKenzie. So anyways, lots of fun and uh, uh, good entertainment. Um, and I also made the comment that <clears throat> if you know the Norwegians and the Swedes, you know, they, they had some history there in the past and, and it was interesting that I made comment about how they kept them separated, but <coughs> now that, that was all just some fun and, and, uh, and I just enjoy uh, how we can all you know be together in one big building like it was mentioned earlier. and. We can share and and with whatever culture, if it's the food or the drink or, or just the stories. That's so impressive that uh, we can do that under one roof nowadays. Uh, oh, just one last thing. June the seventh. Now she's going to kill me, but it's my wife's 50th birthday, and so uh, we're going to have uh, a fun day with that on Friday. So we can make sure that you pop in and say hello to her at the. The store and <coughs> wish you a happy birthday. Uh, Mr. CFO Gadita, you're next. That's yes, Terry Port. Okay, thank you. Uh, Director Claus. Sure, I have a few things. 
Um, so we're getting started today on that playground installation outside the rink where that big empty pit oh, nice. is there. So they're working hard with that, hoping for the rain to hold off so we can keep some momentum going on that, but that'll be good. Uh, and the volleyball, um, been, this, is, this is going quickly. Uh, Cement Works is actually donating Geotech and all of the sand for the volleyball court and Scott Valley's community that care has some funding and they're going to help us with nets and balls and some of the lumber. Um, so hopefully that's going to come along quickly and now disc golf so that'll be exciting. Canada Day also coming up we're still looking for some stage entertainment if anybody's interested and slow pitch teams. And then just one final thing, uh, Saturday, if you're looking for something to do, it's Pride Day down in the Legion Park, and there's some baseball and stuff going on down there. So hopefully the weather cooperates. Yeah, okay, perfect, thank you. Uh, Mr. Harvey. Uh, yeah, I went to Folk Fest, and <clears throat> I enjoyed checking out all the different foods there. It's pretty cool to see that uh, there's quite a few cultures represented in the valley. And then uh, Swim Club just started uh, tonight, and uh, there'll be three south competitions in southern Manitoba, and then the uh, finals is to be determined where that will be. But uh, last year, Swan brought home quite a number of medals, so it's cool to see the little swimmers and Good. their advancement from the start of the year to the end, how much faster they get. And I forgot to say that with the Folk Fest, I had told the Swedish booth that maybe in the next one they'll have some. Ludafis or some surf roaming there to uh, for everybody else to have a chance to uh, try and, and eat. So I'll let you all look that up if you want it one time. Uh, yeah. cool. <laughs> you have <it>, French. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to send a reminder that the uh, community safety and well-being uh, advisory group is is passing their surveys right now. So keep an eye out for those. We're going to be sending out uh, those electronically to a whole bunch of organizations to try and get as much fill out as possible. They are long, so be prepared, and when you're encouraging people to do it, tell them to stick with it. But there, there are a lot of questions. Uh, it will require some time, but expect that in June. Okay, that's it. That's all I have. Okay, perfect. Thank you. <clears throat> So with that, 17 resolved this regular meeting of council now be adjourned at 8.02 p.m. Moved by Councillor Medwood, seconded by Councillor Boychuk. All in favor? It's carried. We're adjourned. Thank you, everybody. Oh, sure.